Welcome to another episode of Crazy Nights, the Australian Kiss podcast. I'm one of your Crazy Nights co-hosts, Jamie McNichol. And joining me from across the border is David. How are you going, David? Hello? Yeah, good, thanks, Jamie. <laughs> a bit of delay. He's watching something here. David, concentrate. No, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. I'm, I'm listening. And how's your week been, Dave? Yeah, good. Uh, as I said, uh, I've had my, had my wedding anniversary over the weekend, so it's been a good week. Yeah, and the lucky man here, David, has been in a, a place where Kish used to stay. And I just want to ask you, David, that's a joke. No, no, no. no, no we, we, we didn't, didn't stay there. I wanted to stay there. there. Well, that was, sorry. <laughs> so, refresh that. You wanted to stay there. But just want to have a bit of a joke, David, an inside joke. When you get a divorce, no, don't answer that. Don't answer no, that. No, no. Don't, don't, don't let it say here. Say so that or I'll she'll she'll slap, slap you. you. Well, you know what <laughs> happened last time when I was in Melbourne? I had two women beating the hell out of me because I was being a bit smart and that, but yeah, I love it. Yeah. But, but no, um, David, I just thought we'd better just briefly touch on the Ken Kelly episode that we just put cool. up on YouTube. Yeah, um, yeah, it just started off. Um, Hopefully we get a bit of a, a positive response for that. I have sent it off to Ken Kelly via email and a couple of other people in the kids' world as well. Yeah, so cool. Just stir it around and what I like about it is, um, with especially YouTube, I'm getting a lot of notifications that people are sharing the episodes lately around with other their friends or other people on YouTube to build an audience uh, for us. Yeah. Uh, okay. I want to say thumbs up. Thank you guys for doing that. Also, I want to say thank you to the people over at Twitter that's been sharing and retweeting it and favoring it or whatever that word is on Twitter, just sharing it around and we're getting a a great response and also a following on Twitter as well, not just on Facebook. But we're almost up at around the 600 mark, almost. But um, yeah, when, like I said, I keep saying this every week. We're not there to hit. Well, sorry, we're not there to hit um, records. We hit one fan at a time, and if it happens to be more than the fan a, a day, well, so be it. Um, we're not here for a competition. I will say this, and I will be very blunt, I'm not here to, to fight or fight with anyone, but I do want to say this, if the fans out in the world of Kiss World want to make a competition, I allow them to do that because at least you're talking about us and at least we're doing something right. We're getting a, a talk reaction out of people. So if they want to do that, by all means, do it. We're not going to stop mm. doing what we're doing, we love what we're doing, um, and whatnot, and people have been saying, keep doing it, Jamie, keep doing it, people are jealous of you, I love it, I love it if they're jealous, because we're doing something right, David, that's all i got to say about that, yeah. but anyway, I do want to do a show and tell David, um, we've got a yeah. topic this week that you came up with, for, for, mm-hmm. a, for a great, great topic it is, as you know, mm-hmm. I was doing a digital media course with my partner Shay, and um, yeah. basically that requires to do podcast, web design, IT mm-hmm. construction and things like that. But I yeah. came across this record shop in Adelaide after we finished the day on Tuesday and my partner came across the nineteen eighty version of my when I Kiss fan basically, the Unmars album. And mm-hmm. buy it for twenty bucks, but I do wanna show you this for a bit of a history lesson. I know, I know that you know this, David, but the fans out there yep, yep. probably would get a bit of a, a kick out of it. That is the a, a enrolment um, application form for the KISS Army Australia back in 1980. And you fill out the bottom here, and you rip it off, and you send it off to a New South Wales PO box address. And the membership fee back in 1980 was $7.50 compared to the membership prices now for premium on KISS Online is over $100. Um, oh, it's it's bad. Bad. Well, it's bad. The last time I looked, it was uh, the premium, premium package, package was about, was about $60. $60. $60. $60. So so they, they might not have by now. now. But, um, but um, it was about, about $60 something. Dollars, dollars, uh, $60, $70. 70. Well, I just but, want to know, uh, Dave, um, if this building, not not the actual mm-hmm. name of the building, it's all around, but the building yeah. is still around. It'll be a bit of a 
doubt, doubt it. it. I, I, I probably, probably could, could have, have gone, gone over and gone for a pop, 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 pop. And, it, and if it is an apartment building, let's move there, David. Let's put our podcast <laughs> in place right there, you know? But nah. Uh, but, um, no, um, I just thought I'd pull that out. But I just want to ask the fans, um, especially here in Australia and overseas, if you do have an album around the 80s mark that has one of these registration forms to fill out for a KISS Army, whether it's over in America, England, around the world, please show us because this one came from... David got one as well from Amas as well. This one's from Amas. I have seen another one that someone said it came from Destroy that had an Elder Kick Pat. And I'm saying... Well, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's probably, probably been, been put, put in there, in there by, by mistake. mistake. Probably, probably would have originally, originally come, come with, with the Elder, but, but somebody's... Somebody, somebody, uh, uh, accidentally, accidentally put, put them back, back, back and destroy, destroy a cover. And, cover and, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you do have any registration forms from LPs that came out, please show us. There's one that I've got here, and I'm going to frame it. I think it's a memorabilia and um, piece of history. Well, should I say history? That I am going to put away in my wall of fame, as you can see. I've got the Christmas present up there. Got another one coming very shortly, David. That I'll talk to you about okay. as weeks to come. I've got another, another great kiss item that Chase getting for me for um, Valentine's Day. And a Steel Panther. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not supposed to know anything about the Steel Panther, but I'll just say all I know is it's Steel Panther related. But anyway, go to our Facebook page, go to our Twitter page, and also subscribe and comment on um, YouTube. Subscribe to us, and the more subscribe the more people can pass it around like they are now on YouTube. And also, I do want to give an update on our other um, iTunes account. We are, like I said in the last episode, we're going flat out like a lizard drinking. Uh, we are waiting for a response now from iTunes to get back to us. I do believe iTunes has changed their regulations and whatnot, so we're going to find out what they are so we can put our episodes back up there. So, yeah, that happened around... Christmas time, I believe, when I got the email, but we're going, we're getting a response back, and the fans that's been asking for the audio versions of it, please hang in tight, they will get their ASAP, as soon as we find out what the regulations are, and what the requirements are, we are going to put them back up there. But David, I'm going to hand it over to you, because you got the brains this week for a topic, and you came up with a great topic. Well, well I was just, just wanted, wanted to talk, talk about, about the new... new uh, uh, being bought, bought out, out by Universal, Universal. Uh, this a set of 10 albums, not all sold together, but a group of 10 albums that have been bought out on vinyl from Universal through, I don't know whether this is how wide it is, but they're up on Amazon.com now uh, for pre-order and they will be released on, uh, one of, most of them are on March 18th this year. Uh, but Revenge, Psycho Circus is getting released on April 22nd, uh, according to Amazon. But the rest of them, there's Kiss, the first Kiss album, Hot and Hell, Revenge, um, Dynasty, uh, Unmarked, Animal Eyes, Look It Up, Alive, uh, they're all getting released. On vinyl, uh, those ones are getting released on vinyl in, on March 18th. So only a, just a little over a month away until those. Yeah, uh, to be honest, um, I think it'd be co- pretty cool that, uh, especially with Psycho Circus, and that to have that on vinyl because it's never been on vinyl before. And maybe the other fact there that the vinyl quality these days. Because while well, I sort of had this, this resurgence over the last three or four years, a lot of bands that were re release stuff on vinyl, where it's got the, the thicker vinyl, the 180 gram vinyl, so it'd be good to have it in a better quality vinyl. So I've, I've pre ordered Revenge and Psycho Circus. I'm thinking about whether I get the, the rest of the, the catalogue of albums that they're bringing out. Uh, but uh, It'd be, It'd be worth, worth it just to have it anyway, anyway I, I think. think. Just especially Psycho, Psycho Circus. Circus. What I'm actually but looking for for the Psycho Circus is actually the gatefold. Would it be in 3D or will it just be a normal 
Oh, oh, we're we done now, mate. mate. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see when we get, get it. it. Um, as, as I said, said but Soccer. Soccer um, comes out after the other night. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Soccer Circus, Circus comes out about, about a month later. later. Yep. Um, is is that, that, according to Amazon, it comes, out, comes out, out on April 22nd. 22nd. So, don't know why. why. But, um, yeah. Well, now, but, here's a question I want to ask you, David. I know it's been released... Is it been released exclusively to Amazon only, or are I'm record sure. store are record stores going to be able to order them in for sale? Uh, what's what's it? Okay, say, say what's, what's another, another American? American uh, uh, let's go to the best, best buy. buy. Go to best buy. For all our American fans, best buy. Com. Yeah, yeah, see see they're they're up there. There. Uh, you think record stores would put them out? If Universal were bringing them out, you think record stores will put them out as well, wouldn't you? Well, well you'd, you'd probably, probably be able, be able to, get to get through here. here. Um, there's, there's a lot, a lot of, of, re- of record, like record stores, stores here. here. I, I imagine, imagine May get, get them, them like, like JB Hi-Fi, Hi-Fi uh, uh, Cell Final Nest. They probably, they probably might be able, able to get them, them there. Um, it's for, that's for these people who live in Australia. Well, our, but, friend, um, our friend David, you know our friend, the one that works at Radical Records. Well, he might even have. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going go, go, to investigate, investigate that with him next, next time, time I, I go, go in there. Whether they're, they're, they're going, going to be available, available in Australia, in Australia or, not, or, or, or or where how, how widely available they are, because I might, might actually put a through him if they take a bite. Well, that would be there. That would make more sense if it just. Expanded just on Amazon, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I mean, imagine, imagine they'd be widely available. available. Yeah, because um, they um, they they bought out by, by UNIVERSE, UNIVERSE, UME, 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 which is universal, universal anyway. anyway. So, so I, I, I doubt that they'd, they'd be, be just uh, like, uh, like uh, uh, Amazon only, only sale, sale, sale sort of thing. So, so be be fairly wide, widely available. And for what I can understand, these releases are not limited edition, so. They're, they're, no, they're, no, they're not limited edition. edition but, 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 um, but, um, so they'll have to be expanded like a catalogue. When a CD comes out, boom, it goes out to the distributors and it gets shipped out. I believe that's what's going to happen the same way here. Maybe yeah, yeah well, it'll, 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 it'll probably, probably be, be more... I doubt that, 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 that um, Universal, Universal Australia Australia will sell them, them here. here. Be may be in the import, I'd, I'd say, but... Save it. You know, yeah, you know. Um, know. The, the, the question is, I want to go to see Mark. I'll be asking, be asking whether, whether, whether how, how, how if the, the you know, you know, universe Australia is going to be released here, 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 but I, I doubt, doubt it. it. It'll be it'll more, be more uh, 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 maybe, maybe through America, America I'd say. But I'm looking forward, like you said, Dave, to Psycho Circus. I'm, like I said, I'm looking forward to the gunfire at the cover and see if it's going to be in 3D or just a normal... Um, backdrop like they did as well. Um, will we see another ten come out afterwards? We talked about this before. We might see mm. a chain reaction, like the whole lot being re-released on vinyl through Universal. Who knows? It could be a big possibility. I'm, I'm yeah. looking for it, you know. Because if those that want to collect um, merchandise or just started to collect it rather than going on eBay and that and what not? Well, well it's basically, basically testing, testing the waters, waters because, because, I mean, I mean for most, most kids fans, they may, may not get it because, because maybe they've, they've already got, got the, the yeah, the, the, all the, the, the collection, collection already. already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but, yeah, people yeah, like people me or, or, or well, probably yeah, like six of the one album, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah or, especially with the, the, yeah, now yeah, yeah, as I said, it's on the 180 gram vinyl. Whereas, whereas, whereas the, the old, old, old days of the vinyl. vinyl. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I know when I, know, I, originally, when I originally, originally got my got revenge, revenge, copy of Revenge, of revenge War, so, so, but these, but these days, days uh, uh, with the 180 gram, gram vinyl, it's less, 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 less likely, likely to, yeah, to, yeah, warp, to warp and, and uh, everything. So, so, so it's just, just, yeah, 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 yeah pretty, pretty good to have it, actually. Now, talking about Psycho Circus, we know that this 10 vinyl release from Universal is not actually a Kiss thing, it's actually a record label thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's more, it's more of, of a, a, from what, what I can, I can gather, gather 
uh, I know where the kids are actually involved in it themselves. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, they're allowed to, as long as, as, as opposed to kids get the royalties from it. So I don't think, would, yeah, the, the Jan and Paul won that. that. But going, uh, back on, going back on to it with Psycho Circus, I know the uh, fan edition pack for Psycho Circus that was released a couple of weeks ago um, via a legal download. I did not illegal download it. I did not I did not illegal download. I was giving it to me um, to have a listen, and it came in the mail. And I listened to it, and yeah, I'm surprised with the that of bonuses that's on there. Um, mm-hmm. Will we see these rare bonuses come back up in the play again? I know it wasn't a... Maybe, 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 maybe in, in a box, box in our yeah, like box, box set or something. something. If they're going to kiss over to another, another box set. set. Um, well, I'm going to throw it out uh, there, David. As you say, box set. You know how they brought out the originals 1 and the originals 2 mm-hmm. in the finals? Can you see... But that was mainly, mainly just, just like original, original ones, ones to... to Two, so that, that was just mainly, mainly um, um, the first six the albums. Pack, like, 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 like the, 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 the packaging, packaging of the first, first three albums, albums together. together. No, no bonuses, bonuses or anything. Yeah, no, no, it's no, just no. the packaging, packaging of the, the first, first three albums. albums. But we just like to see something similar to that come out again in this lot. Yeah. More than one. Just, pack, just, just packaging, packaging them together, together like that. I don't know. If they were going to bring like. Stuff, stuff out again, 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 like, like packaging, packaging again, 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 box sets the way to, uh, to get to all, get the, all the, the rare stuff, stuff out, out and get, get it all out in one, one go. go. Yeah. Um, like, like they tried, they tried to, do to do with the, the first, first box, box set. set. Um, I think, think, think but first box, box set had some 30, 30 something, something rare, rare songs, songs that weren't on the that weren't on the album, the other albums. All right. Maybe, Maybe if they, if they do, do the second, second one, one, hopefully, hopefully not, not so much, much. You, know, you know, album, album tracks, tracks or anything like, like that. that there's a lot, a lot of album tracks, tracks on the, on the, in, in the, the first, first box set. Maybe, Maybe hopefully, hopefully more, more rarity, rarity, rarities, and demo, demo tracks, tracks and live, live tracks, tracks and different, different eras. eras. I know uh, they, they, some, some of the vinyl single, single singles from the 80s. Heaven's, Heaven's on, on fire, fire, I think. think or it is it is a fire. Heaven's, Heaven's on fire, fire I think, had, had, um, had, had a light bonus, bonus track, track on it. On it. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll and get, get some, some of that, that stuff, stuff out, out right, right, rather, rather than, than just have, have standard, standard, you know, yeah, a lot of, of, lot of, lot of album, album tracks that have been on the albums anyway. More rare stuff would be great. Well, it's not just only that you've got to be able to find the rare stuff, too. I mean, I just recently been given the the Daisy concert from seventies, from the early 70s, you know, um, when they played at the Long Island at the Daisy. And so, so actually, actually while, while, while I was, was looking, looking at, at the, the, uh, uh, these Kiss, Kiss albums, albums the, the, the new, new ones, ones that are coming out, out there, there was, was a page, there was there one, one here, here that says, uh, don't, don't know whether it's legit. Shit, or not, I was just, what does it say here? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Rich, Rich on, on Fire, it's coming out April 1st. Uh, it's, it's called Kiss, Kiss Rich on Fire, there's no, no actual image for it. So that, and, while I'm going here, the rich, was it? Label, label import, import, so, don't know, you know. Yeah. What, what sort of an album it is? Uh, obviously, obviously, it sounds, sounds like it might be a right, live, live album. album. Yeah, live what album. year? What, what year? Era, I don't, don't know. <laughs> it could, could be, be from, from the '88 Bridge Show. Yeah. Don't yeah. know. But sounds sounds interesting, interesting, but I'll see when it actually. What? what hopefully, there's an image that comes up, up for it. it. Well, like we said, Dave, they're bringing up this for for Universal, and the ten of them. I mean, yeah. yeah maybe, like I said, maybe they might. Do the train reaction and put out another ten after this release. Who knows? Yeah, uh, probably, probably, they'll they'll probably just test waters with the, the yeah. see yeah. how yeah. well yeah. The, these first ten go, and, and maybe, maybe then they'll, they'll release, release another, another ten, ten of them. Yeah, um, because I was surprised that um, Alive Free wasn't in this release. I mean, that would have been great to get Alive Free again. Yeah, yeah I lost, uh, uh, 
I mean, there's, there's, there's copies, copies of it on eBay. eBay. I mean, I mean, back, back in the day, you could get it with red, white, and blue vinyl. This guy was selling all three of them packaged together for like three hundred and fifty dollars Australian. Um, and I do understand there was some different variation to the cover of a live three on the vinyl. There was different, like orange cover and a black cover and all that. There was different covers for a live three when it came out on vinyl as well. Um, yeah, and no, I think it's more more to do with um. The actual, actual vinyl itself, it was just three different, different coloured vinyl, vinyl itself. itself. The, 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 um, the covers, covers were all the same. same. No, I, I, have seen, I have seen an orange cover of Alive 3. Okay. okay. I have seen an orange one. That was... That was so seven get an image, image up of it. it. There was one on eBay last year. It was an orange one. <laughs> like an orange yeah. game yeah. cover. And that. Maybe, Maybe it was, it was just, just a, a, a mistake, mistake pressing or something, because like, like, like with, with um, um, Double Platinum, platinum when they, they, they released, they printed it out with the white cover. cover. Yep. Um, yeah, there was only 500 or 700 of them made. And, yeah, yeah, yeah one, one of my mates, mates got one of on the white vinyl. vinyl. Uh, uh, one, 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 one of the, and the, the, um, the cover. Too, having the misprint with the songs on the back of it as well. So, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I haven't seen any orange, oh, there's not, not a new image up on If anyone has a, what Jamie's talking about, post it up in our pages, I haven't seen it yet, if it, you know, if it is available. And also, uh, the first pressing of the original album, the first one, had the two mm. different labels on it. I have Warner Brothers and Casablanca because Casablanca was on the Warner Brothers when the first album, the f very first pressing was. You know, that yeah, yeah. Warner Brothers on it. So, but no, I'm I'm open minded with these new releases that are coming out, with, especially with the vinyls and whatnot. Could yeah. it lead? Could it lead down to like we said, well, for what Jane has spoke to us on Twitter about, there will be a box set to commemorate the 40th anniversary. And also the deluxe edition of Love Gun, what Tommy Thayer was talking about um, at that expo last year. Now, I'm not saying that these LPs that come out going to be deluxe edition. They could be. Who knows? But I haven't heard. Who knows? Who knows what heard. they're planning? Yeah, I haven't heard that they're going no. to be deluxe or whatnot. But with the way they Kiss are doing now with all this Dress to Kill stuff. I wouldn't be surprised there's another Dress to Kill release. I think, I think, I think, I think that holds true. The, 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 I, I think, think that them wearing the suits was just had nothing really to do with Kiss. As uh, Kiss were helping out John Vavados, the, the, the um, yeah, fashion designer and all that. Um, and it just sort of tied in because of the whole dress to kill thing that they wear on the suits, and that's why Kiss got on board with it, you know, and helping it out. Well, they're helping in, this guy right out. now. Right now in America, there is a window store of the suits with Kiss backdrops in the background as well. So they are okay. pushed, pushing it, and like I said, at the cruise this year, they're going to do a meet and greet in dress to kill. So. I am still calling oh, oh. this year to dress to kill you, but going back to the releases of these LPs, we are... Mm -hmm. well, I'm seeing a, a little form of a pattern here that they're bringing out and bringing out and bringing out, and then all these other little snippets pops up, like the the rich one that you just talked about. I haven't seen it, but... If, yeah, 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 whether that's, that's, a, as as a, whether that's, whether that's a legit... legit. Yeah, but the one I talked about, the Daisy concert, when there was about 10 yeah, yeah. people in the crowd. Well, that's been floating around for the last month now. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we'll start seeing little pockets of recordings come to light and put into a, like a digipack type of thing. Mm -hmm. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. I, I like to get these official releases, not these pirated ones that people download and just pass it on to me, you know, yeah, yeah. through the mail. But I love to get a r original copy, if it's digital yeah, yeah. or whatnot. I love to see those concerts. Like 
the Palladium concert, the first one that Eric Carr just not just that, but let's see another release of um I don't know. Let's let's do a, a full release of an album. Because that we know there's there's some songs left off due to whatever reason it is. Let's bring out Hot in the Shade with Street Legal on it. Or let's bring out Psycho uh, Yeah, but uh, that sort of thing, I'll probably, probably end up, they won't release, yeah, you know, the album again with the no. bonus tracks. They'll probably release a uh, box set uh, with all the rarest stuff in it all in one. Um, we'll do what Def Leppard whether, whether, whether the people would, yeah, you know, uh, by the... Like hot to shave for the like tenth time, <laughs> yeah. You know, this whole thing, but it'd probably be better putting all the rare stuff into a box set. Um, and as I said before, not, hopefully not too much album tracks like what was on the the first box set. Because the, the first box set was two thirds. Um, Play all with my yeah, al- al- album tracks and all that. Whereas, and it was only like 30, 30 um, rare tracks on it. We'll play All uh, the Way for Loving You for freaking seven minutes in the dance. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the dance, dance version that went for over eight minutes. minutes. Oh, eight minutes. Uh, yeah, eight minutes. Yeah, because yeah, it, it ended up on um, um, one, one of the Psycho so- so- Circus, circus um, singles, singles. Yeah. or or the, the We Are One, one single. single. Yeah. But I think I've been one of the Psycho Circus ones. And it was the eight minute version, version. Yeah. The, the dance version that they used to play, and what like all the, the dance clubs used to play <laughs> all the time. I turned it off after two minutes when I said you destroyed it. Why would Kiss release that for? Oh, so, it was actually sounded pretty much the same as the the uh, like original version, but it, they just looped certain parts, like looped it a bit to yeah, make it go longer. Yeah, they put a twelve mix on it. Yeah, well, it, it basically sounded the same as the original. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I, I'm really looking forward to these releases. But like I said, um, with you will be doing the investigating. Will it be released in record stores yeah. around Australia? But um, if it is an import, well, so be it. Pay a little bit extra yeah. if you want it, and if you want to buy it, especially Psycho Circus. Put well, money yeah, as, as I said, they're up. The those ones are up for pre-order at on Amazon.com right now, um, so and most of them will be released on April, the, oh, sorry, March the 18th, and Psycho Circus will be, according to Amazon, will be released on April 22nd, so and that's actually the one I'm looking forward, forward to the most, is first time Psycho Circus being on vinyl. Yeah. And also, I'm, I'm just looking forward to get revenge again because I've got my most of my stuff stolen in 2001, but... Yeah, yeah. And, and, and when... when, when uh, uh, I was similar to you, uh, 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 you know, my, 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 I just, just kind of like sell a lot of my vinyl for financial, financial reasons. reasons. <laughs> and well, well, actually, actually, my, 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 my copy, copy of Revenge, 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 original copy of Revenge, Revenge, Revenge was off, so... It'd be good to have it on the 180 gram vinyl version now, so... Yeah. David, I want to ask you, how many copies did you get of Monster on the last release? Uh, including, including iTunes. iTunes. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, whatever. Including, including iTunes, iTunes, I've got about seven. I've got, uh, vinyl version, I've got, I've got three. I've got, got one, which, which I thought, thought was going to be one I put them all online. online. Um, uh, I bought, I bought the, original the original version of vinyl. I bought, bought another, another one because I thought, thought it would be the pitch disc. disc. Yep. Um, and, and it wasn't. Um, um then I Went, went on to eBay, eBay and bought, bought the German, German pressing. pressing. Uh, so I got, so I got the German, German pressing, pressing of Monster. Of Monster. Uh, got, got three CD, CD versions. versions. I've got, got the normal, normal CD, CD version. version. Got, got the lenticular cover. And, and I've, I've got, got, got the magazine. Limited edition magazine. Got the one as well. Plus iTunes version. Well, that's so I've got basically seven. I've got, I didn't get any... Tour edition or German pressing like that. I've got the 3D yeah. um, pixelated one. I've got the, 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 the lenticular cover, yeah. yeah. An, An eighth, eighth version. 
look at the uh, German pressing of the CD. Yeah. I'll have, have to have a look at the, for that, that soon. I've got the the original vote, and I've got the the 3 day pictured ones um, with the mm. cover, and I've got the yeah, yeah, I've got and I've got the iTunes. Maybe I will get the one of the two editions that had the bonus track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, well, the, 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 they've come, come out, out now, now with two editions. editions. It's got, got the, the um, the song the right, right here, right now, now on, on CD. CD. Yeah, because uh, uh, originally, originally it wasn't right, right, right here, right, right now. It's now only on, on an iTunes, iTunes exclusive, exclusive track. track. Uh, uh, now now they've, they've, they've come, come in, starting to bring it out on two editions as well. So. Go, 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 go. But the reason why I asked you that, David, because you were saying before... I'd beat me. Well, yeah. Foreign yeah, language. Yeah, just Sorry. Foreign language. Um, yeah, yeah, reason, yeah. But no, the reason why I asked you, David, um, you were saying before about if you already got 10 copies of Hot in the Shade, you wouldn't want to get the other songs. Yeah, well, yeah so, so, some, some people, people might, might, you know what I mean? Get, get on, on... Yeah, yeah like, like have, have... You know... Yeah. Buy it again, again on vinyl. Some, some people, people like that. that. Well, you get people like me will probably buy it again to have it in uh, like a better quality vinyl. Well, if uh, I do that way, just I'll buy it and Just keep it sealed. Yeah. If, if I do that way, I'll buy two. One to put up on the wall in a plaque and one to put in my catalogue. Because if people mm. can walk into my house, they can see what records I've got on in the picture frame. And I'll get them custom made. In a, I'll get the frame custom made. And, that, and put them in a frame, and that, so I can hang it up on the wall. At least it won't get damaged. It's in an enclosed space. So, but no, I'm just, yeah. I just, I just like shape. Um, my partner's parents, they've got the original Raspberry album that still got the scratch and smell sticker, and it still smells like Raspberry to this day. And I, I love vinyls. I love vinyls. And um, when I, when the CDs came out, I'm saying, oh, here we go. Is that all? That all? We can use them as frisbees. Well, some people use <laughs> use the back of it for other things, you know. Yeah, I yeah. used to use it for a mirror to shine at people, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, nah. you know, I think what it comes down to is that the originality format is starting to come back out again, you know, especially the vinyl that you're well, saying. The 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 most, most people are buying, uh, buying, buying them for collector's reasons. reasons. Exactly. Yep. I mean, I, mean I, I, I've, I've bought, bought a lot, lot of vinyl over the last couple of years, years but I haven't, I haven't played, played them. I've just got them there as collectors. Like the, uh, speaking, speaking of another, another band, band, I bought a um, whole, whole box set, set of Slayer vinyl, vinyl. Uh, uh, the Vinyl, vinyl Conflict. So, yeah, 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 yeah a lot of vinyl, vinyl is becoming, becoming popular, popular for mainly collectors' reasons these days. I'm the same as the boat with you. If the collector thing, I mean, I will not want to play it. Even though I love smelling the vinyl, especially when you buy a brand new vinyl and you take it out of its sleeve and you smell it, nothing beats mm. it. Nothing beats it. And also, the sound quality, if I do have a record player, like my dad does, yeah, yeah the sound is totally different than what's on a, a CD. Yeah. The CD digitally remastered. But so it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, digital, it's, it's more sterile. sterile. Yeah. Sort, sort of a sound, sound where, where it's one of the more warmer warm, type, type sound, sound and you get the crackles, crackles and all that and sort, all of, that thing. sort uh, of thing. Uh, you, know, you know, some people, some people like, like the sound of vinyl more. more. I mean, it's pers- yeah, personal, personal, personal preference, preference obviously. obviously. Yeah. Um, well, you, yeah, fall yeah, asleep, yeah. you fall asleep on the couch like I do if you have a needle on the thread on the, the record player and all you hear is <laughs> you know it's finished playing and it just keep rotating. You can just hear that little banging noise, or a little... Yeah, yeah. But no, I love it. I mean, my father was the one that got me into vinyls in the first place. I saw his vinyl collection. He had over about 500 of them, like Jerry and the Pacemakers, the Beatles, Shirley Bassey and all that. And that got me into vinyls and, you know... Yeah, I used to yeah. be the little kid that be like a little thing going round and round. Just focus on that little yeah, bubble in yeah. the middle. Just focus on it and just keep going like this. And you look up and you start doing the digi shakes. But that was me when <laughs> I was a kid, just focus. But, David, I do want to pass you on, um, just before we close up on this, uh, wrap it up, um, just an update on the gig that's happening at the Cherry Bar. Um, unfortunately, I will not be able to make it because the week after, well, the two weeks after that, we're coming to, to Melbourne again for another band that we're going to see, David. We're going to see Megadeth. But it's on the 25th. Oh, yeah. 
But unfortunately, no, on the 15th of um, February, due to family reasons, um, we've got family commitments because my partner's father's birthday. My father-in-law, father's mm -hmm. birthday, I won't be able to make it. But two weeks after that, I'll be in Melbourne. Seeing you, David, there, rocking our hearts out to Megadeth. Megadeth. But, um, I just want to pass it to you to give a update on the Cherry Bar, what's happening on the 15th. Well, well, basically, basically uh, plug, plug it again, again. On, on the 15th, 15th uh, at the Cherry, Cherry Bar, Bar here, here in Melbourne, Melbourne ACTC, ACTC Lane, Lane, here in Melbourne, Melbourne there, there will be a celebration, 40th anniversary, anniversary of the of first, first Kiss, Kiss album, album with, with uh, local, local um, musicians, local musician identities playing the first, first album in its entirety. Two of them, we've got, got Paul Drennan on guitar, guitar who plays, plays with Bruce, Bruce and Bruce's Bruce drummer, drummer um, uh, I forget his name, name now. Uh, he, he, he played, played with him last time, time though. He, he's he's, he's going to be playing drums with Rusty from Electric, Electric Mary, and they'll be playing the first album in its entirety. There are going to be other bands there, plus Kiss music will be played all night. Um, and I think there is a giveaway as well, but uh, you've got to be there on the night. So get, if you go to www.cherrybar, I think the Cherry Bar website, you'll be able to get tickets there. Only 20 bucks. So if you want to go get them now, it will sell out uh, and celebrate the first album, Kiss album, 40 years of uh, Kiss music. I would love to be there, but... Unfortunately, mm. things do happen, like David can't join us sometimes on the interviews that I do mm. because of commitments, but everyone knew that I was going to come down, but we just found out yesterday that we've got family commitments and we pulled But if those <laughs> people want to know, on the 27th, I'll be in a chase. I will, I, I will post, that, post it up on our page. Yep. You know the, all the information. So people, if you want to get your tickets, um, either go to the cherry, look, look up the cherry bar on Facebook, or come to our page, and I'll post it up on there. Yep. Uh, uh, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, in the, the next, next couple, couple of hours. hours. Yep. And also, um, just an update that Shay and I will be in Melbourne on the twenty seventh from midday, and we have to leave the next morning. But um, meet us yeah, down yeah. at the forum. David will be there with well, well, us all, all fair, fair, fair people, people there, there are in Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah, yeah, come, come to, to uh, we're, 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 we're going to be at Megadeth. Megadeth. Um, uh, hey, it would be nice, nice if they played Strange Rage, but I doubt it. You never know, David. You never know. Yeah, very yeah, much doubt it with a short set. So, if you're in Melbourne and you like Megadeth, come down to the forum. You'll see us there. But David, I just want to do one more show and tell before we wrap it up. Ah, um, uh, uh, yes, this is this, 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 this one. one. Uh, can, uh, I can I say something, say something about this? this? Yeah. Ja well, Jamie, 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 Jamie got, got a, a bowl of, of um, um, this, this really, really hot, hot sauce. sauce. His, his, his um, um, fiance, fiance bought it for him. him. He, he's, he's now, now going, going to. Well, before I do he, it, he, 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 he was dead to a teaspoonful of it. We're going to. He's going to eat a teaspoon, teaspoonful now to see see how he reacts, see how hot his face gets. Well, just to show you. And how much he sweats. This is exactly the sauce. A cord. God, God help me, Shay. <laughs> this one's called Dragon's Blood. Now, apparently the afterburn is 10 plus over the rating of 10. Right? <laughs> now, good luck to you on that one. <laughs> now, this, one, this might be the last show of Crazy Night for 2014, because I don't know what this will actually do, but just to give us an update, I'm a fan of hot, hot food and hot sauces. And... Jay bought this for me for 10 bucks. <laughs> this co-host of mine here and <laughs> the production producer had dared me to do what we call the firehouse torture. And be, I'm, I'm, th I'm, th I'm thinking, th thinking it might, it might be, be more torture, more torture for, her, for her later on. Later on. <laughs> more torture for my partner, yeah. But um, 
just want to say this. I have done a lot of hot, spicy food uh, in my past and in my life. I recommend people do not do this if you don't want to try it. Um, I'm no, gonna, I won't I'm be. <laughs> I'm doing it for my own amusement. Now, apparently this is sweet as well. It's got a sweet... Um, yeah, and it says this will make your blood boil. So, David, read it. This will make <laughs> your blood boil. Oh, what we call uh... This one's called the dragon blood. I'm passing this over to my assistant, who is my partner and the producer of this show. And I'm not going to have any milk before I start, but I am going to... There's my milk cup here, just in case I do burn my lip or burn my mouth. Right? This is all prepared. Now, why am I doing this on this show? You blame, you blame my yeah, parents. Yeah, because we, because we, we dead at him. You want me to lick this? <laughs> Ooh, Dave, that's got a good smell to it too. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I, I wish, wish I, I could see Shay laughing, laughing right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I can smell the residue off the, the, see the redness there? Look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I can, can see it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. God help you guys, Dave. God help you guys. All right, um, just hold up. All right, I have got the spoon. All right? Can s yeah. can someone put my microphone up for a second, please? Just hold up. There's a hand. Eh? Just lift it up. <laughs> Give it a Give couple, it a couple seconds. seconds. Oh, it's good. It tastes like sweet chilli. That's not bloody hot at all. Seriously. That's got a sweet... Ch it starts off as a sweet chilli. And it, it, it does have a bite to it. I, I'm not saying it... I'm not saying it... It doesn't. That's nothing. Damn Give it, damn it. hot more freaking forces, please. Far out. <laughs> anyway, anyway, people, people uh, uh, I think we, uh, uh, we'll wrap, wrap it up, it up here, here for uh, this, this week's, week's version, version of the Crazy, crazy Nights. Nights. I'm still alive. What can I say? <laughs> oh, Wait, Wait for, for the, the paramedics, paramedics later. later. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but, um, no sweat coming up. I'm rubbing my forehead and my producer, <laughs> the producer can see it. I got, I'm not sweating. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, that's all. Anyway. That's all for this week. Uh, that's all crazy for week. nights. No more, uh, dead. no more dead because these people just don't know how to do it. But anyway, funny is fun. Go to Facebook. <laughs> go to our page, like us. Um, yeah. Leave your comments. Leave your re leave your reports. Leave your photos. If you have got photos you want to share, please do that. Um, we're not forcing anyone to do what they don't want to do. But if you have got photos you want to share, share it. Go to our yeah. YouTube channel. Go to Crazy Nights 1 at YouTube, subscribe to us, and, yeah, pass it around, and go to our Twitter page at Crazy Nights 1 at Twitter. David, it's been a pleasure, and, uh, yeah, yeah, has, you know, we'll keep looking forward to the next episode of Crazy Nights. Catch you then. for the KISS Army Australia back in 1980 and you fill out the bottom here and you rip it off and you send it off to a New South Wales PO box address and the membership fee back in 1980 was $7.50 compared to the membership prices now for premium on KISS Online it's over $100. Um, oh, 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 it's, it's bad. bad. The last, the last time I looked, time I looked it was uh, uh, premium, premium package. package. It was about, it was about 60, 60, 60 dollars. They might have put it up now. But, but um, it was about it was 60, 60 something dollars. dollars uh, uh, 60, 60, 70. 70. I just want to uh, know, uh, Dave, um, if this building, not not the actual mm -hmm. name of the building, still around, but the building yeah. is still around. It'll be a bit of a 
doubt, doubt it. it. it, 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 it probably, probably could have, could have gone, gone over and gone, gone for a part part build. Build. Apart, and, it, and if it is an apartment building, let's move there, David. Let's put our podcast <laughs> in place right there, you know? But nah. Anyway, but, um, no, um, I just thought I'd pull that out. But I just want to ask the fans, um, especially here in Australia and overseas, if you do have an album around the 80s mark that has one of these registration forms to fill out for a KISS Army, whether it's over in America, England, around the world, please show us because this one came from, David got one as well from Amas as well. This one's from Amas. I have seen another one that someone said it came from Destroy that had fans out in the world of KISS world want to make a competition I allow them to do that because at least you're talking about us and at least we're doing something right. We're getting a, a talk reaction out of people. So if they want to do that, by all means, do it. We're not going to stop mm-hmm. doing what we're doing. We love what we're doing um, and whatnot. And people have been saying, keep doing it, Jamie, keep doing it. People are jealous of you. I love it. I love it if they're jealous because we're doing something right, David. That's all I've got to say about that. Yeah. But anyway... I do want to do a show and tell David. Um, we got a yeah. topic this week that you came up with for for, mm-hmm. a, for a great great topic of this. As you know, mm-hmm. I was doing a digital media course with my partner Shay, and um, yeah. basically that requires to do podcast, web design, IT mm-hmm. construction, and things like that. But I yeah. came across this record shop in Adelaide after we finished the day on Tuesday and my partner came across the 1980 version of my when I kissed fan basically the Unmasked album and mm-hmm. bad for 20 bucks but I do want to show you this for a bit of a history like I know, I know that you know this David but the fans out there yep, yep. probably would get a bit of a, a kick out of it that is the uh, enrollment um, application at Elder Kick Pat and I'm saying, well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's probably, probably been, been put in there by mistake. They probably would have originally come with the elder, elder but, but somebody's, somebody's uh, accidentally, accidentally put them back, back and destroy, destroy a cover. cover and, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you do have any registration forms from LPs that came out, please show us. There's one that I've got here, and mm-hmm. I'm going to frame it. I think it's a memorabilia and um, piece of history. Well, still, I take history that I am going to put <laughs> away. In my wall of fame, as you can see, I've got the Christmas present up there. I've got another one coming very shortly, David, that I'll talk to you about okay. as week to come. I've got another another great kiss item that Shay's getting for me for um, Valentine's Day. And a Steel Panther. Oh, no. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to know anything about the Steel Panther, but I'll just say all I know is it's Steel Panther related. But anyway, go to our Facebook page. Go to our Twitter page and also subscribe and comment on um, YouTube. Subscribe to us and the more subscribe, the more people can pass it around like they are now on YouTube. And also I do want to give an update on our other um, iTunes account. We are, like I said in the last episode, we're going flat out like a lizard drinking. Uh, We are waiting for a response now from iTunes to get back to us. I do believe iTunes has changed their regulations. But no, um, David, I just thought we'd better just briefly touch on the Ken Kelly episode that we just put cool. up on YouTube. Yeah, um, yeah, it just started off. Um, hopefully we get a bit of a a positive response for that. I have sent it off to Ken Kelly via email and if a couple of other people in the kids world as well. Yeah, so cool. Just stir it around. And what I like about it is, um, with especially YouTube, I'm getting a lot of notifications that people are sharing the episodes lately around with other their friends or other people on YouTube to build an audience uh, for us. Yeah. Uh, okay. I want to say thumbs up. Thank you guys for doing that. Also, I want to say thank you to the people over at Twitter that's been sharing and retweeting it and favoring it or whatever that word is on Twitter, just sharing it around and we're getting a, a great response and also a following on Twitter as well, not just on Facebook, but we're almost up at around the 600 mark, almost. But um, yeah, when, like I said, I keep saying this every week. We're not there to hit. Well, sorry, we're not there to hit um, records. We hit one fan at a time, and if it happens to be more than the fan a, a day, well, so be it. Um, 
we're not here for a competition. I will say this, and I will be very blunt. I'm not here to to bite or fight with anyone, but I do want to say this: if the fan. Welcome to another episode of Crazy Nights, the Australian Kiss podcast. I'm one of your Crazy Nights co-hosts, Jamie McNichol. And joining me from across the border is David. How are you going, David? Hello? Yeah, good, thanks, Jamie. <laughs> There's a bit of delay. He's watching something here. David, concentrate. No, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. I'm, I'm listening. And how's your week been, Dave? Yeah, good. Uh, as I said, I've uh, had, my, had my wedding anniversary out of the weekend, so it's been a good week. Yeah, and the lucky man here, David, has been out in a, a place where Kish used to stay, and I just want to ask you, David, that's a joke. No, 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 no we, we didn't, didn't say that. that. I wanted, wanted to stay, stay there. there. Well, that, well, sorry, <laughs> so refresh that. You wanted to stay there, but I just want to have a bit of a joke, David, as an inside joke. When you get into divorce, no, don't answer that. Don't answer no, that. No, no. Don't, don't, don't let it say here you say that or I'll she she slap, slap you. you. Well, you know what <laughs> happened last time when I was in Melbourne? I had two women beating the hell out of me because I was being a bit smart and that, but yeah, I love it. Yeah. But, yeah. 